sidelines. Dean Blevins. Mm -hmm. He must have had plenty of sunscreen. He looked all right down on the sideline last year. He was, he was a little red. Look at this. Here comes Van. Look at this. One man to beat. Can he catch him? And he gets to the end zone. Van with the touchdown run. Javelin Gidry closed on him at about the 25-yard line and came up just short. Yeah, but I'll tell you something. Javelin Gidry had the proper pursuit angle, but Van knew it, so he changed his angle and went right for the pylon. Now watch this. First of all, watch this. All right, now he sees, here comes the pursuit. Boom, let's cut back. Here's my alley. Here's my lane. Pick up a couple of blockers. All right, now he sees open field. All right, now the van turns into a sports car. Watch this. Here comes Javelin, number three. So see how he changes his, his field and goes for the pylon? He goes in the same direction that Gidry goes and beats him to the goal line. 67-yard touchdown run. Point after good. They had a 77-yard touchdown pass earlier in the game. And the Van Van with the long run for a touchdown. And now Clem Mason can relax a little bit. You know, this is just a good old-fashioned spanking right now. That's not the way Terry wanted to go out. No, it is not. And, uh, you know, you come here, all the things to do throughout this week here in Honolulu, and the weather is nice as it is. We talked about it earlier. It is hard to keep your focus as a football team, and, you know, especially with all the other things surrounding this game, the departure of Terry Donahue and supposed departure of Glenn Mason. You know, it's interesting that Terry Donahue is leaving. And, of course, the search for a new coach is on. You look at the offensive and defensive coordinators at UCLA, you got two fine coaches. Bob Field would like to have it. But, you know, this, to be brutally honest, this is going to hurt his chances as defense gives up 51 points. Now, Bob's a 